So how many people actually died from prescription pain medication alone in the United States? In 2016, the CDC announced that 32,445 people died from prescription pain medication. But then in 2018, the CDC said, the number's more like 17,087. And then researchers started asking questions. Well, how did you track this data? How many people died from prescription pain medication alone versus how many people died from mixing pain pills in with illicit substances? And the CDC said, well, we don't really track uh, overdose that way. So how many people actually died from prescription pain medication? It turns out the number was more like 7,000. So at the height of this supposed pain pill crisis, 7,000 people died? 250,000 people die a year from sepsis in the country. And that's not an epidemic. Well, you can't really sue anybody for sepsis. So why did the CDC declare a war on pain pills for opioid litigation? That's all this was ever about was opioid litigation. Tom Frieden was the head of the CDC at the time of these phony baloney opioid prescribing guidelines being released. And he collaborated with his old friend, Andrew Kolodny, president of the anti-opioid organization PROP. And they said, look, let's do this. Let's bring interventional pain into this. This will be a win-win situation for all of us. Interventional pain can win. We'll cut them off of their pain pills, force them on Suboxone. You can testify in opioid litigation. The other members of PROP can, you know, uh, profit off of their opioid-free gimmicks. It was, it was a win-win situation for them, but not for us. Because there's 107,000 people who are dead in our country. 1,200 pain patient suicides. People are being forced to have limbs removed and they're being given Tylenol only, leaving many to ask the question, was this ever a pain pill crisis? Or did our country make the Purdue pharmaceutical company, the Sackler family, the scapegoat? because there's 107,000 people dead. And at the height of this supposed epidemic, there were only 7,000 dead, and that's still a big number. We have doctors who are incarcerated because of those CDC guidelines. Please pick up your phone, call your senators, scream your stories from the rooftop, donate at the doctor-patient forum. We're a nonprofit. Please know we're doing everything we can to get you folks help. Familiarize yourself with the truth.